Oh, well, I failed miserably at coming off my... Hello, Romeo. At coming off... Romeo's been really affectionate. I've started doing this thing, right, because he was such a nervous wreck and petrified of the duvet. I mean, the fear of the duvet was becoming, to, for him, a, you know, a proper phobia that was affecting him during the day. <laughs> so, all day, and when we had cuddles... So we're, we're currently undergoing grooming therapy, which is where I just stroke him all day long, especially on the bits where he doesn't like being groomed, right? And then I'm just about to order his new grooming brushes and we're going to have sessions in the morning and sessions in the evening, which involve the grooming brush so we can try and get rid of this irrational fear. Well, it's not irrational, is it? But he he was a rescue and he's very, very damaged Oh, he's petrified of his own shadow, you know. He really is. Um, so I've started some other things, haven't I, darling? And one of them is he loves to be sung to. And he doesn't mind how in tune I am. So I've started singing to him about him. You know, Romy is my, Romeo is my be- most beautiful, perfect cat in the world, but in song. <laughs> and he's so calm. It makes him so much calmer. He loves it. He really does. Um, a consequence is that he's always next to me now. He follows me round like a limpet. And he's stuck to my ankles, you know. And if I go into the um, recording studio, the, the TV studio, he's sort of wondering where I am and not contented until I come back. So it's all very sweet. And I'm also allowing him to lick me, which I hated, but it's all part of our bonding experience. You know, he's touching my mouth now because he wants me to sing. I'm not going to do it on air because that's ridiculous. Yes, baby. Mummy loves you. So anyway, get, I tried to come off my pills yesterday and I had a turn in the afternoon. Um, so I'd, I'd been off them for less than 24 hours and I had a, a wave of extreme nausea and um, a, a mild headache, but the, the nausea was shocking and I, I could, really couldn't stand up. So I, I had to come and have a lie down. So I thought, right, I'm going to take one. So I took one and I took a heartburn tablet because I thought perhaps the heartburn was coming from that, uh, the nausea, rather. I mean, I think just think it was everything, guys. So I um, did that. I had to lie down. And then about one o'clock last night, the pain started. I normally take them at eight o'clock. So I was always already under dose. Do you see what I mean? Um, I, I could have taken one. But I just, I couldn't bear it. I just took two. And then I woke up this morning and I thought, wow, I had the best night's sleep ever. Um, and I haven't, I haven't taken any tablets. And then I remembered that I had taken them. So I think I have to admit that I'm just an addict, basically, don't I? I mean, whether it's prescription or otherwise, you know, I mean, I went into proper cold turkey yesterday, uh, shaking. The shakes, I couldn't draw. I actually had trouble holding my pen. Isn't that amazing? So, yes, I failed miserably, but it's not the first time I failed. It won't be the last, and if I get a notion to try again, I will. But I think you, I have to be in a very, very, very good place, you know, i.e. not working, maybe, and then have something else that takes the edge off everything that's safe, you know, not booze or anything like that. I mean, I can't take anything now for my stomach. The nausea that I get from just about any, anything that, you know, buggers up my equilibrium is is really tragic, you know. I have to be so careful what goes in. Um, and I never used to say that, I can tell you. So, back to back to normal. I had a very good night's sleep, actually, because effectively I took three yesterday, so I actually took more than is normal for, of my amitriptyline. So what else is new? Well, I have come up with a beautiful range of portraits, and they are called, it's called my Parisian collection, right? And they're a combination of styles that I've been working on. So my line drawings. But then I wanted to use my pens, my new pen software, in a more haphazard, fun sort of way. So I've explored and I can produce these quite quickly. The lovely thing about digital pens is they are a bit quicker than the real McCoy um, and if you make a mistake it doesn't matter so so there's no error you could so you can do things much quicker and I love that because obviously I've got a 
you know, my output has to be massive for this year because this is my final year of sort of creating all the content because next year there'll be less content, maybe one a month, um, possibly one a week for films and stuff. But, you know, it's all about marketing next year. So this year is all about the, the content. But last year was just content. This year is brilliant content. So, you know, it's it's all part of the plan. And I'm really pleased with them. They're very commercial. I think they're powerful. I think they're enigmatic. They're beautiful and strong. And I'm just really, really chuffed. So that's my new series, the Parisian, I should say La Parisienne. La Collection Parisienne? Is that, does that make sense? Is collection a word in French? Who knows? Well, it's the Parisian collection anyway. Um... So I've just popped those on my blog if you if you want to go and have a look at those. Also, my blue, my Twitter blue tick is back. Um, I was I'm just, you know, an inch away this morning from deleting all my Twitter. I just thought, that's so rude, you know. But it's back again. So they obviously had to check me out for some reason or other. Who knows what. Um, so I'm just about to, well, I've popped them up already, but I'm just about to share with everybody all the, the, the three artworks that I've already done. They're really fun and nice. So I hope you like those guys. Um, what else is new? I think that's it. Oh, I did my Keep Fit yesterday. I probably told you, did I? I'm not sure. It took a long time because I was playing around with light and reflections and where to, you know, point the camera and all of that stuff. And I ended up going for the webcam, which worked really well because there's so much white in the room. So the webcam works well against white but less well against black okay just for a, a quick tip there it, it makes black look very blue so I was quite pleased with that actually I was pretty chuffed with how it went but um, I'll go and do another one in a minute and I had to figure out what I was going to wear my cat suit's a bit big for me but I it, it did the job so I'll be going to do that in a minute I'm going to do a little morning session every morning Balance, we're starting off with, with balance and we're starting off with stretches. So this week's going to be quite tame and not nothing too strenuous, shall we say, okay? Um, and that's as much for my benefit as, as it is for yours because throwing yourself into something like this, you know, I mean, by the, by the end of the day, my muscles were hurting and I barely did anything. But you see, of course, you have to do loads of takes, um, to get things right, to get the lighting right. And you think, oh, no, that looks bloody awful. Anyway, I'll edit it today, but I it's not up yet. But it will be by this evening, so I'll go and edit it as well. So I'll do one more, and then I'll edit it. Um, and then I'd like to do a film as well for my, my sprouter, because the kitchen sprouter has gone crazy. So I'm going to have a sprouted salad later. So it would be quite nice, wouldn't it, to, um, you know, film that. But I don't. I'm not sure if I will do a, a professional one I might just do a quick one we'll see we'll see see how we get on I mean it's, it's a terrible storm again it's our ninth one I think of the year um but it's not so unusual there have been years before where we've had a very stormy season so you know they did say on tv today because you know how they like to make you panic don't they oh it's global warming the the you know your houses are all going to fall down and roofs are going to come off and they're, you're going to flood they're already talking about our floods. We do have bad flood zones here in this country as well. I mean, not as bad as, you know, India or, you know, some, or some of the places in America. I would never compare, you know, because, you know, if you're on a floodplain um, in other parts of the world, I think we're quite lucky. Are we a temperate zone? I think that's what they call us. Um, and, you know, we don't get such extremes. I mean, sometimes it feels like extremes. But anyway, mum doesn't want to come out. Um, now, I'm going to see my my granddaughter this weekend with her lovely present. Um, and it's basically, we mustn't tell her, it's these fabric pens that I get from France. Um, and so I just need some white things. What I thought I'd do so she can uh, practice is make a fabric sketchbook. Isn't that a lovely idea? So fabric sheets that you turn... And then in between each sheet, you can put a piece of uh, card and that'll keep it waterproof. Um, stop it seeping through to the other side. You see what I mean? Um, 
yeah, I thought that what a great fun idea that is. So that's what I'm sort of thinking about for the weekend for her. Um, and then the weekend after that, I'm seeing my grandson, which is equally exciting. I'm taking him to my club, the Soho House Club in Brighton. So, yeah, a couple of really exciting weekends ahead. I do love seeing them. Um, I'm not so interested in their parents. <laughs> Don't tell them. Um, I can't help it. I have so much love for grandchildren. Um, isn't it funny how you you do that? Uh, I mean, you have to you have to see them a bit. I think it's you know apparently my son apparently who were, were estranged, but apparently he's got four. Um, but I believe he only lives with one and is only in contact with one. Um, so he's been putting it about a bit, shall we say. Which men do, do do they not? And um, apparently not really, um, you know, doing his financial duties, which is so crass, isn't it? That's so crass. But And it's interesting because he was brought up by a single mother with no financial help. And you think, oh, that's a learned skill, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That really is a learned skill. But, but, you know, poverty is the curse of the planet and poverty creates suffering and poverty creates adults who are not well-rounded and adults who are not happy. It's the For me, poverty is the biggest curse of humanity, you know? Even things like, you know, the awful things that happen on the internet, they're quite often happening because poor people can make money with them with these concepts and you know if if people were just less poor if there was you you know if you've got enough to eat and you've got enough to party and you've got enough to clothe yourselves and look good that's all you need but but we don't even do that for people you know most people well I don't know if it's most lots of people in the world don't have enough money for clothes barely have enough for food I mean, you die if you can't eat. So, you know, it's, I guess, you can eat badly, that's the thing. You can eat and you can still be malnourished. You can eat and you can still die because what you're eating is so poor quality and not the right nutrients. Um, And then to party. You You have to be able to relax and party as well. And it seems like a success of governments in this country... Think don't they seem to think right? As long as you've got enough to to eat, that's fine, and it doesn't matter if it's crap food. As long as we we're providing the minimum, I mean that's what they do in the UK. In fact, there, there's a news report today that says universal credit, which is our basic um, benefit, isn't enough for people to feed themselves or clothe themselves, and you just think, wow! And there's there are there's such a pocket of the underclass. In this country, that's ridiculous. So this, this isn't a third world country, you know. This isn't a country at war. Why? Why is that happening? Crazy, isn't it? It's because there's a lot of people going around who are very, very wealthy in this country, and they're using up all the money, spending it on themselves, spending it on you know five, six houses, spending it on you know school fees and kids who can go skiing and, you know, whatever. Whatever they these people do with their money. But um, it starts, I think, with the responsibility of, you know, paying for your kids. For God's sake, what kind of person doesn't pay for their own kids? It makes me mad, guys, it really does. Anyway, that's enough waffle. So see you over on Twitter or, 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 or on my website. Um, or on my Redbubble, Telltale Club on Redbub- Redbubble, go see. Actually, they're not public yet. I, I, They take a few days because they have to check out my copyright because I quote I Silverland and Telltale Club in the title. So they always have to go through some approval process. But they'll be up very, very soon, the new Parisian collection. Hope you like it, guys. I'm really proud of it. Hello, gorgeous. So, um, telltaleclub.com and iserverland.com. It was a total pleasure to have you here. Do come back later. Um, I'm going to have to just have a granny nap in the afternoon. I'm feeling this sluggishness um, with these drugs that I'm on. But so be it. It can't be helped. Um, au revoir. <laughs>